What about Morocco? This is Tunisia. Maybe in Morocco is different. Morocco World News, 43% only of Moroccan considered anti-black. What? That's not bad. That's... <laughs> what about uh, Libya? You want to go to Europe, you go to Libya, they catch you, they slave you, they rape you, they make you work for them as a slave, they sell you in the market. But this super black, he never heard the news. This is now, this is not, uh, this is like now I see it 2019, but this is 2017, 2020, 21, 23, non-stop. But they are worried about Palestine. Black life matter activated only if you are a black person in New York. If you are a black person in Islamic country, you don't count for them. Your life doesn't matter if you are living in that land. They go mute. Like, you know, the Nation of Islam, they never spoke about discrimination of black people in the Middle East. Do you know why? Because all their money was coming from Al-Qazafi. And now there's no different. If you check even Jewish organization against Israel, the money mostly is coming from Qatar, from those countries. I told you before, the first job I did when I was a student doing studying law, it was working in Arabic newspaper to correct the Arabic before the publishing of the newspaper. They were writing an article against Ghazafi every day almost, you know. Ghazafi is a dictator, Ghazafi is a bad person, he is not even a Muslim, he is a communist, he, you know, he has a great relationship with the uh, Soviet Union, blah, 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 blah. And then, suddenly, the newspaper starts writing the opposite, that he is amazing, he is a genius, he made Libya green, he made a river in the, in the desert, he is the king of kings of Africa, look what happened. So I asked the editor, I said, sir, what happened? Just a few weeks ago, we were publishing articles against Al-Qazafi. He said, <laughs> well, it worked. The embassy, they send us a big check, big, big one. So they keep writing against you. They harass you. Not seeking the truth, not to expose you, no. They are seeking bones. Then you write a check for them, then they switch from your enemy to your friends. This is what journalism is about. So now if the Israeli, they want to switch the journalism around the world, anywhere, just send a check, big check, for the one who own the newspaper or the magazine. And he will switch you by the magic stick of Hori Booter from a criminal to a victim and vice versa. Just money. All of this is about money. Buy my t-shirt. Buy my shoes. You will notice that all of those who have those YouTube channels, I mean, I never saw, like hey, all of them, they have a mug, they have, uh, you know, umbrella, have their name in them, T-shirt, shirt, hats, uh, even Trump. I mean, Trump, imagine Trump. Do this guy need money? Buy Trump hat. Make America great again. And then the hat itself is made in China. What the heck? Even actors. Famous actors. Extremely famous actors. What they do? How many of you, you see every day, a famous actor doing commercial for socks, for shoes, for candies? 
What happened to those people? Is it enough all the hundreds of millions of dollars they made from movies? And now they want to make commercial for chocolate? What happened? It's money. Money is their God. Chocolate, shoes, even lingerie. I just searched on YouTube, you know, commercial actors, you know, famous actors. You will find them all over the place. Commercial. <laughs> spirit. You want to drink spirit? Huh? Oh, that's my commercial. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, they are already millionaires, billionaires, and still they are doing commercial. This is how much they worship money. So how you can take the truth from somebody is it promoting a product he himself never tried. And did you ask yourself why even they bring somebody famous to promote it? Because they knew they are fool. If it's a famous person who is doing the commercial, you will believe it. You will accept it. You will listen. They ride the wave of money. You know, if YouTube and Instagram and Facebook don't make you make money, I want you to tell me how many people would disappear from those who call themselves activists from YouTube and Instagram? 90%? <laughs> Maybe 99. Their activism only work in places where they can make money from the platform. Have you ever seen one of those people don't have commercial advertising on their videos? Have you ever seen any of them? He is not seeking money. So how we can seek the truth from people that win business? You know, when I spoke against Drucker Carson, many of you get upset. Oh, he's a person, he said the truth. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. A lot of a truth. This guy's an idiot. In fact, he's an idiot for a reason, because that's what makes him money. We are in a time. He's smart. You know, like everybody take a highway, it's called 100. Then there is a guy, he take a highway, it's called 101. People will forget about all the cars in the highway, 100. And now the guy who is taking the other highway, because he's different. And he knew how it worked. So he worked in Fox News all those years, making a hell of money until they made him so famous. And don't tell me he was famous from before. That would be a mockery. And then suddenly, Fox News are bad. Why? Because you want to make more money. Suddenly Fox News is a fake news. So we were working all those years doing that. Give us fake news. You know, in case you do not know, when you are working in TV station, you don't even choose your topic. Your topic before go live on air have to be approved or even chosen for you. Even the text. Even the text you say. It's written in front of you on the screen and have to be approved or written for you before you go. 
And now Trucker Carson is the one who said the truth. So he, what he was doing on Fox News. This guy was in CNN. Is CNN a TV will hire somebody who will say the truth? When the terrorists in Syria, they were killing Christians in Syria, CNN and Fox News was calling them rebels. Call them what? Rebels. Like a Houthi, no? The terrorist al Houthi. Al Houthi, he said, death to America, death to Israel, and they called them rebels. Okay, hold on. If they are rebels in their local area, why they call why are saying death to America, death to Israel? Trucker Carlson family has big money. Well, they have they has big money for a reason, my friend. <laughs> That is that does not make him not not a, not a money guy. Guys, Trucker Carlson family have a big money, and Trump he have a big money too. Yeah, but doesn't mean that he don't like money and more, want more money. Buy my hat. You know. Buy my T-shirt. I imagine I have the money of Trump, and then I go and I ask my supporters to buy my hats. I fly with my own jet, fancy. My walls at my home are covered by gold. I have house everywhere, even international. And then when those, they have to vote for me and they have to elect me and they have to buy my hat. Why? Because they are supporting me. And the foolish ones, they buy. And make America great again, and the hat is made in China. The same as Joe Biden. But it's the other side of the story. He's against, you know, he, he support the idea of a global warming. He want to fight oil and gas. But his son, he make gas and oil deals. His son become the vice president and a special consultant to the biggest oil company in Ukraine. A guy who don't even have... Any education in the matter. He's not an engineer in oil or even anything. Ukraine, they look to himself. We don't have in this country anyone is as smart and educated like Hunter Biden. This guy is a genius. He's a genie. Yes. And then Joe Biden, he go and he speak about how he fired the, the district attorney of or the, the Attorney General of Ukraine. And then they say to you, we don't involve in the politics of Saudi Arabia. It's a private matter. In so, so it's private matter in Saudi Arabia. It's not private matter in Ukraine. Because in Ukraine, they were investigating his son. That's the truth. So all those you see around you are money worshippers. And they have a price. And they don't they do anything for free. Nothing is done for free. If this person is activist, well, let us see how activist he is to support the black people in Africa. In Islamic countries, where African people are discriminated badly, do he dare to speak against the racism of Muhammad in the Quran and the Hadith? What Muhammad he said about black people? Who is the most person Allah hate? Anyone remember? Shouldn't we ask this question? Did you guys save the reference? Did you save the reference? Jimmy saying Allah he love me, but he hate uh, so Allah he love me because I'm white and he hate the the, the black. Uh, okay. I hope you save the reference because later you might ask me for it. The reference is there. <laughs> 